Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Monday. Ah, we the hope the weekend is over. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I hope you rocked out whatever you had, got some rest and recovery, and you're ready for the week ahead that we have. Um quick update before we get started. Lime oil this month is the free product of the month from doTERRA. Oh, I love lime oil. This one actually is uh, very cleansing, detoxifying. It's actually a natural and anti-inflammatory too. So if you've got any sort of discomfort, lime oil, free product, definitely. Let's get it rocking. Um, I am in the finishing touches of putting together. I'm actually just in the launch phase of putting together a weight loss course for beginners. Uh, if you or anybody you know of is interested in getting early bird access, there's still time. Um, there's tons of cool things that come along with that. Definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Um, what I wanted to talk a, a little bit about today was uh, sort of some simple ways to incorporate exercise into your daily routine. Uh, especially now, right, we're in spring with the summer months coming along. Um, a lot of people are interested now in getting back in. It, either you're interested in losing some weight or just trying to maintain it um, throughout the, you know, the spring months into the summer months. And, um, you know, this is it right now. This is the time of the year where everybody wants to look their best. And that's where I want to come in, give some tips that sort of help incorporate exercise into your daily routine, right? Um, you know, it can, it can, when you're talking about exercise, it can seem like this whole thing, right? You got a gym membership, then I got to buy the, the, the shorts, and then I got to buy the shirt, and then I got to, you know, get the, the water bottle, and then I got to get the headband, and then, you know, the, the, the list just can, it can just go on and on and on and on. And, um, you know, that's where I wanted to come on today, give some tips that sort of help me um, you know, it make it easier on, on myself to sort of incorporate things, um, you know, as I go on throughout my day and I wanted to give them to you. Hopefully they help you. Hopefully you get some value out of them. So tip number one, way number one, thing number one, whatever you want to call it, uh, take the stairs instead of the elevator, right? Or the escalator. This is, um, you know, this one is pretty much um, the easiest way that you could think of to incorporate exercise into your daily routine without actually changing up too much. Um, you know, for, and I, I really, I really want to get across, you know, don't, if you can't take the stairs for the whole way, th th consider getting off, you know, a flight or two, maybe three before your, um, your destination. For, for me, for example, uh, we live in an apartment building and I'm on the ninth floor. So if I was to tell myself, right, um, you got to take the stairs for nine floors, I probably want to find myself so I can <laughs> give them a real ringing. Um, but, you know, in that instance, right, if we get off, say, at, at the eighth floor, right, or the seventh floor, right, and we just keep adding a floor every week, right, every two weeks, every month, um, that's, that's one of the things that, that you really, really need to realize more than anything. Um, with exercise and weight loss and um, you know weight management, it's, it's really a journey, right? It's a lifelong process. There's no real start and end date. Um, you know, there's things that you could do to sort of help uh, quicken the process, right? But at the, at the end of the day, it really comes down to, um, uh, you know, it, it's going to take some time. And you need to be prepared for it to take some time and you need to understand that um, there's the little changes over time will make a huge difference, right? So if I'm taking the stairs for one flight over time, it will make a huge difference. Add in another flight, now we're talking two flights. Now we just doubled our time, right? Three flights, we tripled it, right? So uh, that's where, you know, it, it's really easy if you're in... Uh, an apartment building, um, if you're in, if you work in an office building, uh, if you, uh, you know, work in, I guess, a malls nowadays have multiple levels, right? And these are easy things to do that you can just uh, incorporate over to, over time, right? Little things over time. Now, maybe you can't take the stairs, like, that's like I said, maybe you can't take the stairs the whole way, but maybe you don't have time to take the stairs the whole way. So that's where we just get a flight of stairs, right? Or even if you have like half a flight, right? For me, my, my floor is kind of, it, it's, it's this circle thing, right? So you're, you're 
walk up, or you're sorry, you're going up and then you come back up this way, right? And then you come back up and then back up and you make like a circle, right? So for me, if I was to do, say, half up, half down, right, that's a full flight, but I didn't go up a full flight, I just went half up, half down, and that's a little thing that I could just incorporate into my day, um, you know, what, five, six steps up and down, maybe do it twice if you have the energy or the, uh, you know, the time, the ambition, you don't have to, definitely not, but um, that's what I, that's what I wanted to, that's what I want to say, you know, it can be little changes, it can be super simple, um, little things that you incorporate into your day to just uh, help, help you get on the right track. Number two, park further from the door at the grocery store. This one is huge. Uh, this one is so easy because, you know, it can be very, very tempting to, uh, you know, drive around, just keep circling the parking lot until you find a spot right close. Uh, you know, the one right beside the door. I know the, you know, the big thing nowadays is to just wait until people come out and then they move their cars and you get that one. So you're literally just waiting for somebody to finish shopping uh, and then come out, load their car and go away so that you can take their spot right at the, at the front of the door instead of just parking a few spaces back and then walking you know, and getting a little bit of exercise and kind of helping out every aspect of your life. And that's that, you know, I, I it, it is what it is, right? It's, it's a mentality. It's a mindset that people have, right? We're, we're very busy, right? We're busy on the go people and we don't always have time to be walking everywhere, right? That's why we, we do it. We park right close to the grocery store. So we have, you know, it's, it's a, the quickest point of entry and exit and we're right there. Also, it makes it, you know, super simple to bring out your grocery. I mean, I get it, right? I get the whole time. I get the whole concept of parking right uh, close to the door. That's why something simple to add into your routine is just parking a few spaces back. And I'm not talking like the end of the, the parking lot. You don't need to. That would be, you know, ideal because you're getting the maximum amount of, uh, of steps in there. But I'm talking, you know, if you just go like an aisle way back, right? Or, you know, just a, start with a few spaces. This is where I talk about, right? Um, a little changes over time will make a, a big difference. Uh, so we're not looking for to, you know, walk the whole parking lot the one day and then expect to lose a whole bunch of weight and, you know, be healthy and all that stuff. That's where we need to understand that, you know, a few spaces at a time, right, is going to make a huge difference, especially at the beginning, right? Because when we're trying to start something new, um, it, it's very easy for us to go to fall back into our old ways to, um, you know, go back into our old habits it's, uh, what's the saying, right? Old habits die hard. So that's where, um, that's where, uh, you do a, a few spaces just to get yourself into the habit of parking further from the door, right? And then once you're in that habit, then you can add a few more spaces and then you can add a few more spaces. And then you, it doesn't even really register in your head to try and park close to the door because you're, you're, you've, you found an easy way to incorporate a, just a little bit of movement into your day, right? I mean, this is, this is what I talk about more than anything. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll get, I'll get to that later. All right, number three, do 10 push-ups daily. This is actually one that I just real, that I just, um, researched about. And I'm actually in the process of doing this. So I don't actually have any like concrete benefits that I've, uh, felt as far as, you know, at, <laughs> um, maybe just the fact that I really didn't realize how hard it was to do a push-up. <laughs> maybe I haven't done push-ups in a long time. Um, for me, I would much rather bench press, I guess. Uh, but, you know, there's, and I, and I actually love this one. That's why I put it in here, even though I don't really have too much um, experience doing this. But doing push-ups is a great full body workout. And we're just talking 10, right? And you know, if you can't do a regular push-up, do it on do it on your knees, right? What we're talking about with a push-up, you just want to get your hands sort of shoulder width apart, right? Just like that, and then we're pushing down all the way to the ground. And you don't want to be lying on the ground. You want to be, um, you know, just up a little bit off the ground, and then we're pushing ourselves back up, um, keeping your body straight. So this is how you want your body to be, just like that, straight. So when you you push down right? And then you push up and then you push down and then you push up, but you want to keep your body straight, keep your back straight, keep your butt down, 
definitely keep your butt down. That's one of the biggest things that, uh, that you know, people uh, without proper form do with push-ups is they kind of stick their butt up in the air because it makes it easier, uh, you know, to, to, it makes it less weight that you have to push up. It just makes it easier to do it. But it's, it's improper form and you're not actually benefiting yourself that much. Or, you know, I mean, you're probably benefiting a little bit, but not that much. Um, but that's, that's it, right? 10 push-ups is going to be super hard. It's probably going to be super hard right off the bat because, you know, if you're like me, who apparently hasn't done push-ups in forever, um, you know, it's not going to be the easiest thing. So that's why we, you know, we're just doing 10, right? And if you can't do 10, maybe do five, then do five later on, do two, then, you know, do five sets of two, right? If you can, it's going to get easier over time, right? It, it definitely will because we're doing it on a daily basis. So the, another thing that I love about push-ups is it's not just an upper body workout. It's a full body core strength workout, right? You're working out your shoulders, your chest, your abs, your, uh, your glutes, right? You could, if you, if you tighten up your glutes, you're working out that. It's just strengthening your core, um, keeping your body right nice and line, strengthening your back muscles. Back muscles is a huge, you know, back pain is one of the leading causes of, you know, time off work, right? So I love, I love how push-ups are a super easy to incorporate exercise into your daily routine, as well as a super easy routine being that you don't need any uh, weights to do it. And you can basically do it wherever you want, right? If you want to do it at home, perfect. If you can only do it at work, perfect. If you can, you know, you, you can only find five minutes where you go out to the park, definitely do that. So that's, I, like I said, I don't have too much experience with this. I'm currently in the process of doing it, but, um, you know, definitely it's, it's, it's going to help more than anything. So, uh, you know, try it. If you, if you try it, definitely let me know, uh, what your experiences are with it. And, uh, you know, we can compare number. Four. So we are talking simple ways to in incorporate exercise into your daily routine. Number one, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Number two, park further from the door at the grocery store. Number three, do 10 push-ups daily. Number four, leg raises while sitting. This one is huge, and this is why I wanted to save what I was saying earlier for now. Um, you know, get, you know, follow me for a quick second here, right? So we sleep, we're laying down, right? Then we wake up and we drive to work, sitting down again. Then we're at work if we're doing a day, uh, desk job, right? At a computer, we're sitting down pretty much all day. Then when we come back home, we're sitting while we drive to uh, home from work, right? Then we're sitting at home when we're on the couch watching TV. Then we're sitting at the dinner table when we're eating, right? So there's a whole lot of sitting going on. And if we're not making a conscious effort out of it, it can be, it can lead to a lot of problems with our health and wellness. Because, you know, we as people are not meant to be in that seated position all day or as much as we are. As much as we're not meant to be standing and, you know, moving around all the time, we're not meant to be sitting and be idle all the time. So that's where leg raises are huge. I love talking about this one and I love incorporating this one because you can basically do it anywhere. Um, you know, if you're, on, if you're at the computer on uh, working, Right, leg raises just like that. And this, this is what I'm talking about. Think, picture this, your leg, right? And we're just raising it right up, boom, boom. And then we, we lower it down and then we just all the way up. And, and you know, you're not, I'm not talking raise it all the way up, uh, you know, above your head. I'm talking just, you know, 90 degrees if you can get it. You know, I don't know, 80, 75 degrees. Right, aim for that. Aim for just aim for somewhere level, right? If you can, if you can, depending on the height of your desk and, or or your table, right? But I love this one. You know, a set of ten every now and then will it, it's huge for you know str again strengthening your core, um, your back muscles, your glutes, uh, your uh, your thigh muscles, moving around, getting the movement that you need. Um, you know, pumping the blood, getting your blood, blood pumping in a different direction than it normally is, right? When you're sitting, your blood's always flowing down. So that's where, um, you know, you need to sort of, um, I guess, alleviate that pressure, it seems, or uh, if you will. Um, but 
Light razors are huge to it and you can incorporate it anywhere, right? Sitting at your desk while you're working, sitting on the couch while you're watching TV, sitting at the dinner table while you're eating. Just do a couple of leg raises, right? Five, six, seven, ten if you can. I like doing sets of ten. That's just me personally. But whatever you can do and you feel comfortable with, definitely do that. Water. That's another one. It's not an exercise, but make sure you're drinking your water. That's going to be great for everything. Um, and my next tip is actually the hand squeezer. So I've got this sort of hand squeezer thing, right? You just get the squeezer out like that. Um, most people get a stress ball, right? You can just sit there and squeeze it. And I brought this out because of talking about the leg raises. So when we're sitting uh, driving, I very much do not suggest that you do leg raises while you're driving, but we need to do something to incorporate a little bit of exercise. So maybe while we're doing our leg raises at work uh, and getting our lower body exercise, right? While we're driving, we're doing the hand crimpers and we're getting our upper body exercise, right? And this is, you know, whole arm exercise is what this is right here, as well as being a great stress relief tool. Um, I know a lot of people, they get the stress balls. Me, I just had this hand thing here, so I thought it'd be perfect to bring out. Um, but that's like another thing I love that, um, you know, it, it, it's easy to incorporate. Maybe it's not, you know, but it's, it's super convenient, right? Fits in your pocket, right? Yeah, fits perfectly in your pocket. Um, you know what, fits right up here. Boom, just like that, there you go. And, uh, you know, it can, it's travel size, right? Maybe you want the stress ball, I don't know. But uh, that's that's where I wanted to just incorporate that, is, um, you know, it, it's, it's, E Again, we're talking easy ways to incorporate. So I wanted to incorporate that one because of the um, nuts. I don't suggest you do leg raises while you're driving. So focus on your hands. Uh, focus on doing something with an upper body workout. Um, you know, I don't really suggest doing too much of an exercise while you're driving, right? You want to focus more on driving than anything. But that's that. That's what I mean, right? I'm, I I just want you to realize that throughout the day, without even really realizing it, we sit a lot, and if we're not making a conscious effort, it can be very detrimental to our health. Which is my next tip right here: is to make a commitment, right? At the end of the day, this is your health, this is your wellness, this is your body. Uh, for me, right? I've had my my father and my grandfather both pass away um, at very young ages, right? So for me, this you know that's kind of a, a, you know, a wake up call, if you will. Um, but you know, you need to commit to your health, your wellness. This is, you know, you, you need to be there for your family and you want to be there, right? You want to be there for your family and you want to be able to do the things that need to be done, right? So that's why we need to take care of our body, proper nutrition, extra, you know, X amount of sleep every night, but definitely incorporate some exercise into your daily routine. And I've given you some, some tips here, some ways that are super convenient that you can add into your daily routine without actually changing up too much. And that's where I, I, I say over time, little changes over time will make a huge difference as long as you make the commitment to, you know, a better health and wellness regimen for yourself and make the commitment that you're gonna be there all the time and you're gonna show up even when you don't feel like it, even when you're not feeling the best, you're gonna, you're gonna get out there, you're gonna show up, you know, you're gonna park further away from the door, right? You're gonna do the leg raises because that's going to extend your life beyond what would happen if you didn't do anything. My last tip more than anything is essential oils. I love using essential oils, especially for um, exercising and stuff like that. Uh, an essential oil blend here. So what I have here is the roller uh, bottles of the oils. And I love using the roller ones, um, uh, especially for exercises. But I love using the roller ones. Um, this one is called Easy Air. <clears throat> and this one is actually the respiratory blend. It's got oils in here that are great for opening up the airways promoting clear breathing. I love, this is where I love the roller bottle, right? I just roll it right on my neck, just like that. Give it a massage, and then, you know, that's where you get, when, when you're exercising, right, you get that, <laughs> the wheezing feeling, right? I love using that one. Um, another blend here that I have is Motivate. 
Uh, Motivate is the encouraging blend from doTERRA. Another one with the roller top, right? I love the roller tops. Uh, and this one is great for, um, you know, for, for getting your encouragement up, right? You need to make a commitment to uh, live a better life for yourself, right? To bring more to the table. That's why we need the, sometimes we need some encouragement or if you're, um, you know, if, if you need, uh, you know, if you're looking to get a few more sets in and you don't really have, you know, that motivation, no more determination, definitely motivate. Roll. I love rolling it on my collar. That one I love putting on the collar of my shirt. So that way I can just have it really whenever. And then when I sweat, it kind of creates like its own diffuser. Uh, and then my last oil here is actually uh, a cream that I have. And this one is uh, the Deep Blue Rub Lotion. This one is actually the reason that I got started with essential oils. Uh, I love using this one for, uh, you know, anytime I get any sort of discomfort. Uh, it's very soothing and cooling. It's got peppermint in it, so it's very cooling, right? When, you're, when you've got that muscle discomfort and uh, a little bit of tension, I love using that one basically everywhere. can be used uh, before, during, or after um, exercise. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really hope you found some value out of this. I know I had some fun making it. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Monday and an even better rest of your week. And I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.